Roster cuts for the Arizona Cardinals are already happening. Tomorrow is supposed to be the deadline when we're supposed to find out what the 2021 Arizona Cardinal 53-man roster is going to look like. Now, they went ahead and already gave us 10 names that they released today. There's one specific player that I want to dive into today, and that is going to be Keyshawn Johnson was released from the Arizona Cardinals. I'll give you my thoughts and everything that I think that's going on with the Cardinals a little after. Let's go ahead and roll that intro. Alright guys, welcome back into another video of the AZ Sports Fan here on YouTube. Like I mentioned a little earlier, tomorrow is supposed to be the day when we're supposed to figure out what the 53-man roster for the Arizona Cardinals are going to look like. Um, but we already got 10 names that the Arizona Cardinals ended up releasing uh, today. Now there's obviously one name that we want to talk about a lot more, which we'll we'll wait for the end, like a little towards the video. I'm going to tell you who are the other nine uh, you know, players that were released. Um, let me know what you guys feel, everything in the comments below. Before we get started, definitely do me one huge favor. Smash that like button and subscribe to the AZ Sports Fan here on YouTube. Don't forget to put that post notification bell on as well, just so you're notified of when we drop the next video or when we go live. All right, now let's go talk about the 10 players that were released today. First player I want to talk about is offensive lineman Shaq Calhoun. He ended up getting released today. Next player is going to be running back Taven Feaster. Um, I think he had some sort of ties with Arizona, so I know there might be some fans that uh, might be a little bummed out that he got released, but he's another player that got released. Next player is center Michael Manet or Michael Manet, however you pronounce his name. He was actually drafted this last draft class as a center. Uh, I, I guess he didn't do so hot in preseason. Maybe training camp, he really didn't impress. I, I honestly do believe it's because maybe because we got Rodney Hudson. He's going to be honestly, obviously the bona fide starter for the next several years for us. Uh, next player is going to be defensive lineman Cam Murray. Now, we just picked him up this year as well. It wasn't in the draft. He was a part of the undrafted free, uh, undrafted players that were brought in from the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, next player, cornerback Picasso Nelson. Didn't really see him in preseason. I think it was just maybe just a camp body that they ended up just releasing. Uh, next player, AJ Richardson, wide receiver. Uh, next player, Evan Weaver, linebacker. Now, we got him in the same draft that we ended up getting Eno Benjamin, uh, which was a couple year, a couple drafts back. Um, that was kind of surprising. Oh, maybe not too surprising. I know our linebacking core is very, very stacked as of right now. I think there just really wasn't any room for him. And there was also some, you know, speculations out there saying that he wasn't really grasping the, uh, the Vance Joseph defense. So that's not very surprising in my opinion. Uh, next is going to be punter Ryan Winslow. Obviously, if you have Andy Lee, you don't need another punter, but he was released. Uh, and next is going to be another linebacker that was released. That was Bryson Young. Now, the last player I want to talk about is going to be wide receiver. Key Sean Johnson was released. This to me is probably one of the biggest shockers um, this morning, honestly. Uh, Key Sean Johnson was drafted in the same draft class as Hakeem Butler, um, as well as Andy Isabella. Now, obviously, Hakeem Butler was released, you know, several seasons back, or it might have been last year. Uh, but Andy Isabella is another one that's kind of those fringe players. Is he going to make it? Is he not going to make it? But I never thought that Key Sean Johnson was going to be a player that was going to get cut. Uh, he made some several catches, you know, in, in training camp and preseason that I honestly thought that he might be the fifth you know, fifth wide receiver, maybe the sixth wide receiver, in my personal opinion. But this honestly caught me by complete shock and complete surprise. Now, I'm a little bummed out because I, I never thought that Keyshawn Johnson really had a fair opportunity to win a wide receiving, you know, starting one role um, in this team. But I get how this, you know, NFL works. It's a business. It's um, can you take advantage of your opportunities? And I don't think the Arizona Cardinals really thought that he did take advantage of it. But the only reason I can see why they went ahead and did this is because they're trying to make room for two different wide receivers that are fringe bubble players, in my opinion. One of them is going to be Greg Dortch, which had an awesome training camp as well as an awesome preseason. I, I'm very happy if Greg Dortch makes it in the 53-man roster. I think he would actually deserve to get in there. Next player I want to talk about is Antoine Wesley. He's 6'4", 206 pounds. This guy also made some catches in preseason as well as um, had a lot of, you know, coaches had their eye on him on training camp as well. So this is really the only reason as to why I can think like, hey, this is why they cut Keyshawn. 
Um, but it sucks still, like it really does. Like I'm actually pretty bummed out about it, but grand scheme of things, I, I would I would love to have the best wide receivers on this 53-man roster. And if this coaching staff doesn't feel like he's going to beat out Greg Dortz or, or Antoine Wesley or one of the two, then okay, I, I can see that. But honestly, like if you're going to ask me right now, I would rather have released Andy Isabella over Keyshawn Johnson. Like, I'm just being honest here. And I know it sucks. He, he seems to be the punching bag of a lot of Arizona Cardinal fans. But I just think that's kind of the, the truth of the nature, the, the nature of the beast type of stuff. But we never know. Tomorrow, we're going to be getting the, the rest of the cuts from the Arizona Cardinal roster, trimming it down to 53 men. So I'm very excited to figure out who's going to be our 2021 Arizona Cardinals. We're going to find that out very, very soon, guys. So I will be releasing another video tomorrow. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to the AZ Sports Fan here on YouTube. That's all I got for this episode, guys. Thank you so very much for watching, and I am out. Thank you.